a, a motion to open. Make a motion to open the regular session for July 17, 2019. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second to open the meeting. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Roll call. Oh, you guys are going to get up. We all are going to get up. We're doing the wait. Lisa. <laughs> Lisa Mullaney, Clerk Treasurer. Suzanne Umbach. George Knoll. Sean Harley. Derek Jones. Charles Randy Sneed. I pledge allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> the minutes of 7-9-2019 emergency session. I make a motion to accept the minutes from the emergency meeting on July 9th. Second. There's a motion and a second to accept the minutes. Is there any discussion? Not all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Motion carried. Have one piece for you. Does anyone have any citizens' input tonight? Okay, must not be bad news. Old business, EMS. Sarah. <laughs> so we were looking at hiring one EMT per ship to be able to have 24 hours um, paid coverage. Um, I was requesting that I could go ahead and start looking for part-time employees. Mm -hmm. I just needed to go ahead um, that way I can actually say that yes, there will be a position to fill, not just hey, we have potentially a position. Make a motion for the sir to be allowed to hire part-time EMTs. Second. There's a motion and a second to allow the EMS director to hire part-time EMTs. Is there any discussion? Uh, how many are you, how many total? We'll have 10. And told? Yes. Any other discussion? And they will not be able to work more than 30 hours. Correct. Week. It will be part time. Yeah. It will be under 30 hours. Hmm? Per week. Do we need to broadcast the pay or is that just something? Picture or something like that. Okay. It's on. It'll be on. Your, right. All in favor, signify. Any other discussion? I'm sorry. Not all in favor of allowing Sarah to put out applications for part-time EMT. Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. Jerry, do you have anything? You're not on there, but you're other old business. <laughs> I've got plenty, but it's basically going to fall mostly under new business with several ordinances to take a look at. Okay. And oh, unless there's any objection, I'll bring it up now. But there's basically been uh, some talk of basically getting the Economic Development Commission uh, those positions filled. This is a three-member board. Um, and I know that that is something that uh, needs to be done considering the situation with the manufacturing center. Um, that is something that I've seen the timeline has been put together. Um, it's something we can consider that. It's also something I think that we can uh, get that filled at the meeting that we're going to have on August the 7th. Uh, given that the county's timetable is to basically they have an appointment to make and that would not occur until the 12th. We're looking at a potential meeting then on the 13th on the day after. So I'm simply letting you know that that's something that's been requested. Maybe somebody else is going to talk about that and uh, do business. I didn't see it on the agenda otherwise, but I just wanted to bring it up. Other than that, yeah, there's several ordinances to consider. All right, let's go to the ordinance 2019-10 then. We can talk about that. Jeff? 
Jamie will help me out when I don't have everything exactly correct. But basically, what this is, folks, is that. Um, Sorry, I made a new agenda and forgot to give you. Well, there you go. Okay. This ordinance is, is basically adopting what are called interconnection standards. Um, this primarily deals with the solar uh, generation for anybody that is a resident or a business in the town uh, that wants to have any kind of a solar uh, generation facility that would any kind of would provide any kind of electricity to the town. If you remember, I think it was back in 2016 or 17, we had a we had an ordinance that dealt with this called net metering. Um, we repealed that in January at the direction of EMPA, and we now have new standards. Uh, there's also a rider that is attached as well. It's basically a lengthy, uh, the ordinance itself is not so lengthy, but the interconnection standards and the applications, the agreements, anybody, any customer, any citizen, any business that wants to do this uh, needs to be familiar with these standards as well as the applications, the agreements, and the certificates that they will need to be uh, signing and providing. The ordinance addresses those matters, but it also changes two sections of the uh, code to again recognize that we are operational with regards to anybody that wants to put these solar facilities in place. Is that a fair summary, Jim? Yeah. I read all this today. Mm -hmm. been about, well, I got the I got the drift of it. I understand what it's all about. It's to protect us, protect the town, or the electric utilities, I should say, yeah. and the workers. <coughs> yeah. And the workers, because if one of these is back feeding, it's gonna hurt somebody. So if everybody's looked at it, like I said, I read through it today. I understand what I need to understand. Of course, we went through this before, a few years ago. I'd entertain a motion to suspend the rules and pass it. I'll make a motion to uh, suspend the rules and pass ordinance 2019-10 interconnection agreement. All, all, three. all three reasons, sorry. <laughs> I second. There's a motion and a second to suspend the rules and pass ordinance 2019-10 on all three readings. So we had a discussion. Not all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Motion carried. Basically, it's what we've had in the past with the economic development rider. It just changes. It just cleans up the language a little bit. Mm -hmm. oh, 
I'm sorry, that ordinance was actually passed in April of 2017, not November. Suzanne's looking at that. I don't know. This is actually old business. What we made up for it? If we get it, I was gone at the last meeting. Got out of town, and, and Suzanne had drafted a letter and asked the council to distribute it to the board members, just as a kindly reminder that you know you volunteered for a service. That um, hey, we need you here. Don't just volunteer and. and uh, stay home just because you want your name on the board and we're having problems getting quorums I mean I personally don't look at this as a slam or anything I just look at it as a kind of reminder that says hey guys you know, we, we volunteered it's let's do what we volunteered to do um, I guess you guys tabled it you didn't want to send it out at that time I guess you guys thought it might be a slap in the face or something but, but. well I George, I think uh, Dylan, at his request, wanted to try to deal with it uh, as one of them was, he was liaison for one of the major ones. And he wanted to try to deal with it himself, and I kind of respected that uh, for the time being. Um, I don't know where that stands tonight. Dylan's not here. Um, so I, at this point, I don't know. I have no Rob Jackson really to sending it out at this time, because uh, I don't know where it stands. I said, I don't look at it as a slap in the face to me. I mean, that depends on where you. It's just a letter that says, hey, did you forget? Because I miss meetings. I'm not going to be the first one to admit. I remember an hour before sometimes, like, oh, and uh, I miss them. So it's not uncommon for everybody to miss them. But we, we've got so much going on right now. And, and we do thank, and it says right here in our letter, we commend every, that Suzanne drafted this, we commend all individuals that are consistently giving up their time and efforts to further our community. And we have made great progress, we have a great future on the horizon, and that's all due to the people that are on these boards. So, you know, we made a commitment, that's a big thing, people should live up to their commitment. So, I'm, I'll make the motion that we go ahead and draft this letter, or that we send this letter out to the board members. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Is there any other discussion on this? Personally, I think it should go to every board, not just pick and choose. That's oh, okay. the original yeah. intent. Okay. Yeah. That's included. Needs a, needs a little eye opener once in a while. <laughs> That's what I would do. So, <laughs> is there, if there's no other discussion on this, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion carried. Thank you for drafting that up. Thank you, Judge. Okay, we're good on the rider. Everybody get a chance to look at that and understand how it goes with this. Basically, trying to protect the town. Make a motion to pass suspended rules and pass on all three regions or 2019 dash 11 economic development rider. I'll second it. Randy made a motion to accept ordinance 2019 and Sean seconds. Is there any other discussion? Not all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Appointment of EDC members. Derek, you brought that up. Um, I did. Did Jeff, um, since you're out here with uh, Marsh County <coughs> Economic Development, you're working on all this on the timeline. Do you see a problem with us waiting till the next meeting? I don't think so. I think the ideal scenario would have been to uh, appoint all the members as soon as possible, but because by statute, County Council has to appoint one, and we're trying to fit into, as we, we talked about already, trying to fit into the regular meeting schedule. We can't get all three in place before the next County Council meeting anyhow, so I don't think it has a practical effect if uh, if you wait until your first meeting. That's the first week of July is your Correct. next meeting, right? August. 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 Right. So uh, I think Derek's correct, and it, it will have no practical effect on that. We were taking it that he was correct. We just wanted your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? You like that one? <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> so do you want to table that then so we can... I'll make a motion to table the appointment of EDC members until the next meeting, regular meeting. Second. There's a motion and a second. Is there any other discussion? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind one appointment is from the executive, George. Mm -hmm. The other appointment is from the council itself. So. All right, all in favor, sleep your vote saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anyone have any other new business? Did we get resolution 2019-10? Did we have to do that tonight? Yeah, we did. Did we have to do that? Oh, I'm sorry. I took it the wrong way. There was an ordinance 2019-10. Yeah, yeah, we, we did. did this is the We didn't do the resolution. No, I took the seller resolution off oh, the okay. agenda. It, on the new agenda, I did not put it on there. Um, MACOG did not get the numbers back in time, so I had to take the seller resolution off. Okay. So on the new agenda, it should not, on the agenda it should not be on there. Correct. Right. That's why I didn't see it. That's what I was confused there. So, yeah, okay. Lisa, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have any other old business? That's a new business. Just not okay. Department head reports. PD, you're up first. Well, you should have my report. Um, the only thing I would kind of add to that is, in reference to some code enforcement, um, the business, if you will, on the end of Dewey, or at the corner of Dewey and West Street, I've talked to them, and I don't know which one I'm referring to. Um, I've given them 30 days to clean that up, and um, they seem like good to go, and have no problem cleaning it up so far. And also, the same thing with on um, 429 Sydney Street. I don't know if any of you guys have been back there. Talked to him, and um, yeah, he, he agrees it needs to be cleaned up. And actually, same thing, 30 days, and I believe he's already started. 
and all that good stuff. <laughs> That's not it. Anybody got any questions for Corey? <clears throat> Somebody like you had a question. Well, <laughs> what are you thinking about? Uh, the, 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 what we talked about before with Derek or? Oh, I'm waiting on to hear back from you talking about okay. Derek. Okay. Yeah. I've let Derek know we talked about the police commission. Yeah, we'll talk about the police commission. Okay. That's where I want to handle it first. Hey, utilities. Uh, you have my report. Um, everything's going pretty good. Um, I don't know if you've been around Woodland Trail, Westview Corp. They're, they're paved down. Um, they've got to do some striping, landscaping, uh, some finishing touches on it, but for the most part, that's all done. Colonial State's moving along pretty good, too. I don't know if you've been out by there. They're putting concrete out, curbs, uh, drainage is going in, so that's moving along real good, too. Um, and then at the last meeting, I asked about a, a sewer upgrade at Woodland Trail. I, I said it's going to be about $8,500. It's going to be a little bit more than that. So um, I think we're looking at about eleven five. dollars There's some valves that need replacing there, too, we found out. So it's going to look just a little bit more than what I originally thought. Yeah. Fixed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is lift station. Right? Lift station, yeah. yeah. So I just want to let you know that price will go up a little bit on that. And for the record, you did and are cleaning the dry wells on the east side. We we, we did uh, the ones on Cherry. Okay. I'll I'll get the rest as we go. But we we pulled I think we pulled 800 gallons out of those too. I mean solids, not liquid solids. So. I just want it's to make a difference. people know and can hear that yeah. you have done yeah. something about it. You didn't we have. get them. And we <laughs> checked the other one over there and it needs done too. I think there's only there's only about a foot or three feet left and they're deep. So okay. we, we gotta get the rest. We'll get them. Okay, thanks. You're gonna do the ones down three mont too, is what you yeah. talking about. We'll we'll do we'll get we'll get all of them. That whole area started, yeah. And that'll yeah. help. At least see where we stand. Yeah, there. exactly. Anybody else got any questions for Jamie? Okay, fire department. You should have my report. Uh, the H look is there. <laughs> <coughs> I really don't have anything. <laughs> see it, I see it. I left my pamphlet, or my doc, everything laying on my desk when I left work tonight. So I'm sure off as soon as I can hear it. Are you submitted to this? I know Suzanne Lee is our liaison for fire, but me being on the fire, we have been running more with EMS than we ever had before, just for the simple fact that manpower for them for backup. Um, so you guys see us out a lot more, that's why. I wish the runs. Up the runs. Any other questions for Mark? <coughs> Not EMS? We got your... Okay. Yep, as you'll see. Um, I didn't have any notes. I had a surprise uh, meeting today with Physio Control, which is the striker for the light packs. Um, I think it, you guys were told they're very good in shape, they're working well. Um, I, I really don't have anything as far as new information. Said, and we give that opportunity for her to put out for four EMTs, her part time paid EMTs. What do we need to do first over there to finish it? Is it okay? Is it going cost? We good? There's actually two in there. Well, um, yeah, <laughs> technically, 
it is sufficient for overnight. Um, that's kind of something we need to discuss a little bit more, like for people who are in town, if they are in town, if they get hired, um, if they are allowed to, because like, I mean, I've been on other services and when we wanted to go to dinner, my partner and I took a rig. But since we have a volunteer driver, am I gonna be like, hey, let's go get some food? You know, or is it acceptable for us to just stay within six minutes? And then there'd be like a written and then a termination if there is any kind of missed runners. So it would be one of those kind of, it's we're very strict. If you're getting paid, you will be on. And I also had some ideas as far as like clocking in and things so that they have to clock in at station and clock out at station. Whether it starts as simple as the email address is um, on that computer and they can shoot me an email from that computer saying I'm on, you know, or I'm leaving. You know, those are their clock in, clock out for right now. I was going to check with the town to see how they did it. Or I'll go on eBay and go, I don't care. Like, I'll find something. So there's like, some more discussion. So, personally, my thoughts on that, Sarah, yes. is they're being paid part time and they're yes. an employee. They should be on station while they're on call. And yes, to go get lunch or something, I don't oppose to how they go there, but I think they should stay within the city limits to figure oh, yes. this thing all out. Oh, 100%. Like but that, that's my take on it. I well, in fact, she's, what she's really talking about is this, they want to go to Bourbon Street or wherever, get a pizza or whatever. Do they drive the ambulance and take them <coughs> so they can either they're eating? If something happens, they can answer the call? Well, no, that's not possible mm -hmm. unless you have the driver. Well, that's what, yeah, see, that's her problem. She don't have a driver. She's, as far as I'm concerned on that, she's the director to figure out what her work's going to Okay, she can figure out. I mean, that, that's my take on it. Well, I was also thinking, because I'm going to have to redo all these bylaws for, obviously, the pain. Um, I was also contemplating doing, <laughs> contemplating doing a list of things that must be done on each shift, period. You know, we'll do supply checking, every, or rig check will be done every single shift. You know, things like that. So they will have responsibilities, but at the same time, with utilities even, because I understand we don't have like the nice station that, you know, Plymouth has where people on 24 hour or Culver or, you know, all these other places. Yes, we don't have a lounge area, we just have a bed. So that's why I was thinking, you know, if you want to go out and leave, but you have to be within the city limits or, you know, because we're, we're already waiting for a driver. So. That's why I was contemplating it. And if we wanted to save, we could save a little bit on utilities as far as the, um, like the lights and the air. Well. Open and close the door. Yeah. <laughs> Those kind of things. So, I, I mean, there's, yeah, there's I have pros no. and cons to both. We can talk about it later. Yeah. I just want to make sure that we have suitable. I have a lot of ideas, okay. but yes. Good enough. We can house someone. Let me talk about it. George, do we have a motion to accept the Department of Head reports in? Yeah. 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 There's a motion on the <coughs> second, or a motion on the floor to accept the Department of Head reports. Second. Oh, any other discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Mark, do you want to say uh, something about it? Yeah, she didn't say it either, but 29th, the. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Dave Houghton's going to put on a small. Um, CPR first aid class. Yeah, first aid class for fire and kind of help out with the EMS. July 29th. Monday, July 29th at 1900. Thank you. I will be out of town. That was also a spur of the moment thing today. At 7 o'clock or for yeah. Yeah. I, just, I didn't mean to wake up this morning. I just thought of it. We needed to work on it, so I sent it to you. I was up at 5. We're getting out. All right. Claims. I already did see those. <laughs> okay. Um, the total jacket for July 17th is $161,902.36. The top five claims are as follows. Number one is payroll for number 14 at $37,173.62. Number two is capstone insurance at $19,342. Number 
Number four is Town of Argus RSA, March 15th through May 15th is $12,964.70. Oh, yeah. Number four is Indiana Department of Revenue, Corporate Tax, third quarter, $11,121.15. And Indiana Department of Revenue, second quarter was $10,452.08. The total docket is $91,053.55, and it represents 57% of the total docket. Two motion to accept claims. I move to accept claims number 753 through 803. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion, questions? No one in favor of claims, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Before we go, um, Suzanne's got a little bit of a report here she would like to share. This is from the task force. We did, we've been working on a survey. We were collecting at the festival and also at TGIF. And Carrie, was kind enough to input it in the computer. She said, it would be easy. For me, I have some of them. Not easy. <laughs> <laughs> so she did a great job. But number one was grocery store, what people want within the community. Second, a bakery. Close second, coffee shop, deli. Then ice cream shop, pharmacy, laundromat, on down the line. So child care, dentist, gun shop. What we were trying to do was find out what people in Argus would prefer, what do they want to see for businesses, and not just to see, but that they would support. So that was the questionnaire, and I think I probably got copies of it if you want to see it, but I think most of you have. But if you want to glance over this report, you're more than welcome to. I'll have it here available for you. And the second thing we talked about at task force, and we mentioned this in our budget workshop. We're not ready for a decision yet, but we're talking about a billboard for Argus. It would be on 31. It would be 10 by 28 and illuminated. We would rent this possibly for 13 months. We would mention the community of Argus and a couple of its main features, which is the park. So we hopefully could work with the park department perhaps on funding this and also the school. So that's, hopefully it would be a partnership between the three of us on this billboard. So that is talking stages. We're just making you aware of what we're considering. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anyone have anyone, anything else? Not an entertain a motion to mm -hmm. adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. There's a motion to second. Favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, everyone.